looks like you might have something from IRS here. Oh, yeah, IRS? I wonder what it says here. I don't know. I'm getting ready to find out. Well, uh, 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 excuse me here, but I believe that has my name on it here. <laughs> this is to inform you that the day has been set aside for you to confer with IRS Representative Cyrus Delano in relation to your 2008 income tax return on Thursday at 4 p.m. Failure to attend will constitute a federal offense punishable by a fine or probable incarceration. Holy Toledo, what have I gone and done? Gladys, uh, am I too much of a burden? A burden? Pa, you're not a burden, you're a blessing. No, no. I'm an old man with a lot of problems that you shouldn't have to deal now, with. Now, Pa. No. Pa. I, I should go to a home. No, no, no. I'm here to take care of you all day. What? I'm here all day. I, 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 that's just it. I can't pay. <laughs> Besides, I won't hear of it. He stays with us. Uh, well, that might be a good <coughs> idea to have someone around just in case. In case? Yeah, well, in case, uh, you know, something would happen to me or something uh, like that, uh, you know. You going on a vacation or something without me? Uh, I wouldn't exactly call it a vacation. <laughs> I'm in real trouble. I, I must have done something wrong on my taxes, and now they're after me. George, George, I want to tell you my favorite scripture in the whole Bible, okay? Yeah, Come on. It. Yes, George, listen to me, okay? Yeah. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, Amen. right? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding, yeah. but in all your ways acknowledge him, yeah. and he will direct your path. Yeah, well, that's wonderful, Gladys. That's wonderful. But God is not responsible for all my mismanagement. Uh, don't get upset, George. Don't get upset, Gladys. Do you <laughs> understand? I'm going to jail. Do you know what they do to little guys <laughs> like me in jail? Maybe they'll pick on you a little? No, not pick on me, Gladys. Mutilate, pummel, and terrorize me. George, I don't think it's that bad, George. Oh, yes, it is. I know. Oh, you know? Yes, I know. Okay. I watch cops. Cops? Yeah. Oh. Well, I got her all together. What you got there, Pa? Things. Things? Things I'm going to take with me. Where are you going? I don't know. <laughs> I got some pants. 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 All right. Nice and iron. I got a shirt. I got a shirt. Mm -hmm. I got something real important. Okay. What's that? Real important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that might be important. Yeah, that's important. Is that it? Depends. Depends on what? Depends. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we need to ask God to help us out here. Oh, boy. Here we go. Come on, George. I'm serious. Okay, you ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. What is this thing here? What is that? I'm communing with God, George. Communing with God? It yes. looks like you're practicing hanging up the laundry here. Ah, you can't afford to go to a nursing home. I don't care. I'll get a job. I'm going to get a job, and then I'm going to a nursing home. <laughs> Gladys. Gladys, I found the box. Oh, good, George. <laughs> yeah. Where'd you find it? In the pantry. Uh, did you cross off the words throwaway? No, no, no. I knew what was in it. I didn't uh -huh. have to do that. Yeah. Oh, yes, you did, George. Why? Because now I remember finding the box. Yeah. It was in the hallway. Yeah, yeah. I put it there. Next to your den. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I needed a box, uh -huh. so I saw that box, and it said throwaway on it. So I threw away the contents and put my bowls in it. Gladys, you I'm didn't sorry. do that. I'm you, you didn't do that. George, That's all my important okay. papers. I just got to keep giving this to him and keep praying, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you pray, Gladys, huh? Yeah. You pray. I got to go write my obituary. <laughs> well, make sure you spell my name right, George. No, but a buggy shop's a little different than a grocery store. Uh, well, I'm going to call <clears> them <throat> anyway. It's up to them whether they hire me, not you. You're right. Yeah, I'm going to call right. them. Go right ahead. Yeah, I'm going to call them. I'm going to call them. <clears throat> I'm going to call them. Go right ahead. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. okay. You want me to tell you the number, huh? Uh, tell me the number. Want me to dial it for you? I can do it myself. Okay, Pa. <laughs> George! 
Lord. What? Are you going to pray? I am praying. You are? Well, my heart don't pray out loud, Gladys. Now you're gone and ruined what my heart was saying. <laughs> Answer that, will you, dear? Uh, yeah, I got it in here, Gladys, huh? <clears throat> Hello, George here. Who's there? Oh, Mr. Delano, you're the IRS man. Yes, sir. So what's he expect yeah. you to do? He says they expect a check by tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow! How much? $1,447.15. Holy Toledo. Oh, I <sighs> have made a big mistake, a big mistake. I know, George. In my favor, Gladys. What? Yeah, we're getting a refund check tomorrow for $1,447. <laughs> Are you kidding? No, I'm not <laughs> kidding. It's a miracle, Gladys. <laughs> it's a miracle. Because God loves you, he wants the best for you. The best. And because he has all-knowing, he, his omniscient, he, he knows everything, he knows what's best for you. And then because he's omnipotent, he has all power, and guess what? He has the power to do it. So not only does he want the best, he knows what's best, but he has the power to give it to you. We're, we're kind of omnidirectional in our thinking. We can only think one thought at a time. Did you know that? One thought is all you can think at a time. So listen, if you fear, you can't trust. If you trust, you can't fear. And oh, Peter, he's rowing away. And all of a sudden, friends, he sees Jesus walking on the water. So he says to Jesus, he says, Master, bid that I come out to you. So he takes the other foot and puts that out there. And I'm telling you, this guy is standing on the water there. And he walks out to where Jesus is. He's about five feet from him, see. And all of a sudden, a storm wind comes rushing by and scares him. And he looks at the wind and frightened of the wind. Now, guess what happens? The minute he thinks of and fears that wind, guess what happened to him? He sunk. Now what happens? He's in the water. Blub, blub, blub. He puts his hands up and says, Master, save me. Jesus grabs a hold of one of the hands. The minute Peter felt that hand, all of his faith come back. And he popped right back up out of the water. And the two of them walked back together into the boat. And casting down every imagination. Now listen to this. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. You know, that's the important part of that. You see, we have to abide in Christ. He said, if you'll abide in me and my words abide in you, ask what ye will and it will be given to you. You see, we have the power to come against anything that the devil would try to put against us.